Hi, Daniel Edmondson here. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do this beautiful painting of these lilacs. We want the eye to travel from the bowl to this grouping of blossoms here down to these blossoms here and move kind of almost equally through them. However, we need to have one of them dominate and that will most likely be this one here. Okay, and you could kind of almost do it by rubbing it off with a, um, with a paper towel, but you don't get some of the kind of the nicer little nuances that you will by using a palette knife. In order to get the painting in this area to look layered, what you need to do, it's kind of a weird thing, but you almost have to paint the leaves and the blossoms you don't even see. So in other words, if you were to go around to the other side of this vase, you would see what it looked like from the other side. There'd be blossoms on the other sides, there would be leaves on the other side, and the leaves would generally be darker and duller we're not getting as much light same thing with the blossoms so it's kind of a funny thing you want to paint the leaves you can't see first These blossoms have a three-dimensional shape. Not only are the individual blossoms within there, but the whole blossom itself has a three-dimensional shape, meaning there's a light side, uh, a side where there's more color, you know, the, the local color side, the turning color, and then the shadow side. Now, a lot of times people are just going to kind of scrub it in, and that's a mistake. You want to try to come up with some sort of a shape, okay? Mm -hmm. 